so yeah thank you for being patient in terms of like the release of content um you know especially around this time you guys have been cool about staying patient i always get a little anxious about it to be honest you know like i'm not doing enough or i'm not putting enough shit out there or what have you and then i get a little nervous about it um because because uh, i'm like i don't want people to forget blah 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 it's just stupid anxiety shit it's just what it is and then you kind of deal with it and you're just like hey if i tell people like i've got a busy week or i'm i'm stressed out overwhelmed or i'm sick or i'm whatever uh most people understand, you know, like you guys are super cool about it, uh, you know, and, and I, I and I think the last two weeks I kind of got burned out dealing with, um, how do I put this uh, appropriately without being a dick, because uh, I don't want to be a dick about this, um, just, I guess, like neoliberal fucking centrist you know don't 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 go too extreme kind of you know pro democratic party kind of folks um because the the series of videos that i'm releasing on forkful of noodles right now is about the uh election system and you know i i don't think this should be a surprise to anybody that regularly views anything that i do or follows my work or has kept up with any of the words that i have said in quite in the last couple of years and even beyond that right even before that this is sort of um the, just the way that i am is i am not an any blue will do kind of person um i am more about the ideas and the philosophies and Ron Placone talked about this on my podcast. When he did my podcast, you know, we, we talked about following these politicians um, as people that are that are in the political comedy sphere. You know, like Ron and I were followers of Tulsi, like followers being like we we liked what they had to say, not like we built a shrine in our fucking house to, you know, uh, I had a Bernie and a Tulsi pin on a jacket that I had, you know. So um, Bernie and Tulsi were kind of the, the candidates that, uh, I liked the most and was probably the two candidates that I would have voted for. Uh, that's really the, the way that it boils down. And uh, once they kind of dropped out of the race and endorsed Joe Biden, I, as well as several other people, expressed how disappointed they were in that endorsement. And that just kind of led to a bunch of these neoliberal, pro-democratic party, pro-DNC let's do what the party says but we're free thinkers and we're super smart and we're critically thinking and all this other kind of but it's just like no you're kind of just saying what the party wants you to say and floating a lot of these cia talking point things um, i've caught a lot of vitriol from those folks and what's interesting too about that about that sort of stuff is i will say out of all of the comments that I received, and I get, I get that this is sort of a social media thing, but it does. It, I don't know if you've gotten in, like if that's not your thing. Like my thing is not to get into like battles over uh, silly things on the internet. It's really not. I hate it. Um, it's it's more or less like. I'm cool with having a discussion based on, hey, you know, you mentioned X, Y, Z in your video and I'm not a big fan of it. Here's why. Cool. Now we can have a conversation. Right. Like that's something that I'm I'm cool. I'm down with. That's that sounds great. Uh, but these guys were just like you're posting this video. It's like I'll post a, a, a thing. I'll, I'll say a thing. Right. I'll, I'll have to type up like a status or whatever on Facebook. And uh, and it's something to kind of entice you to watch the video, right? And that's just sort of the way that social media works. It's sort of the way that we are now engineered to view content is if it doesn't have uh, a kitschy title, if it doesn't have kind of a clickbaity thing, then people aren't going to watch it. And also the algorithm is going to bury it. And most of these people don't know that. And I get that. But, you know, they're like, well, summarize it. No, watch the video. And I'm happy to have a discussion so I went back and forth. That was one thing I went back and forth with where people were like, I don't want to watch a fucking video for the clicks and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, you understand that watching a video on Facebook means I still make zero dollars from this content. Like, <laughs> I make no fucking money off of it. And there were people that were just like, summarize it, summarize it. And, I, and my summary was, watch the video and I will have a conversation with you about the context the content of the video. That's the point of me posting the video, right? If I, if I, if I, if I didn't want to, I would have just posted this vague statement about not voting for either party. 
and that would have been it. And then we would have, you would have commented and I would have commented back and eventually it would have been an insult fest, right? But the other thing too is like a bunch of these people went straight to insults and I was just like, okay, so I would kind of say something semi snarky, a little, little, little dry and sarcastic towards them. Uh, and that's just my nature. And I know part of it is me being defensive, right? But boy, it, it's, it was, it was very emotionally taxing to go through all this. And then I had a bunch of other people coming at me. And again, it was the same thing of just like, yo, watch the video. And I'm happy to have a discussion about the contents of the video and, and why you either disagree or agree with me. And a bunch of people would come in and be like, well, you made fun of Hillary Clinton's so I'm done. And it was like, so you have no interest in hearing a different perspective. You have every interest in either one being told what you need to believe and just kind of going along with that, or you just want your opinions validated. And when somebody doesn't validate your opinion, you don't know how to validate your own opinion because I don't know, you don't, you like, you don't have a, like agency over your own thoughts. I don't. I don't really know. Like I don't. I know that kind of sounds like a dickish thing to say, but maybe you fucking don't. I don't know. So it was just very exhausting, and it's just like all of these people. And I'm, and I come out too. Is like there's no discourse. There's no discourse happening. And part of the I, part of this I also understand is like that's how Facebook makes it. Facebook makes it so you can't have intelligent discourse about particular topics they want the the vitriol and the back and forth and the and the argumentative type shit because that's what they do that's how they thrive that's how they keep people on board but for me it's like it was just too much i just don't do well with it you know if if it if i and i'm relatively quick at figuring this sort of judgment out is we went from like one of the comments was we went from like who I voted for said I can't vote. I was an immigrant or who I voted for in 2016. I said I couldn't vote in 2016 because I was still an immigrant um, and I can't vote, which meant that I voted for Trump is how liberals saw it. And that's a 100 percent true thing. It's like I would say that to liberals and they would fucking be like, well, you got Trump elected. And it's like I literally fucking can't. I, what do you want me to do? So, you know, then. He came out as a centrist, and I was like, look, man, I'm not a centrist. I've never claimed to be a centrist. I've never claimed to be a Democrat. And when people find out that I'm an immigrant and I'm brown and I'm from India, like, they want me to be a Democrat, but I, I've, I've never claimed any sort of party affiliation. So why are you getting mad at me that I don't, I've, I'm not a thing that I've ever claimed to be? And, you know, and then he did. And then he started calling me names, said I was dangerous. And then it, to a comment later, he said that I was a know nothing part. Like my videos don't matter because nobody watches my videos anyway. And I was just like, OK, so so which one is it? Am I am I dangerous? Am I am I nothing? And I called it vitriolic hypocrisy. And, you know, and then it was just like two other people came in and I was just like, I don't have time for this. Like, I'm tr I get that having a dialogue is important, but this is just ridiculous. And no, and I posted about this on Twitter and stuff. And, you know, it's just like the amount of vitriol and hate that I get from the Democrats and the liberals, you know, and the neoliberals and these like any blue will do people is beyond anything that I've faced. At least, at least the conservatives that hate me will come out and just say that they want to murder me to my face instead of this roundabout way of making an assumption about who I am, finding out who I actually am, and then getting mad at the fact that they didn't have the assumption correctly and somehow I'm responsible for that. And then telling me that I'm dangerous, which is like, no, I'm pretty sure Nancy Pelosi is more dangerous than I am considering she's leaving the American people behind with bullshit fucking theatrics and putting no effective pieces of legislation forward. I'm pretty sure Mitch McConnell is more dangerous considering he blocks every piece of effective legislation. Both of these people are, are more dangerous than me, for sure. Someone with no money and no power that has a YouTube and Rockfin channel that is getting off the ground that gets suppressed on YouTube and Facebook pretty regularly. So 
you know, why are you not pushing back on them? And they can't because they worship them as heroes and they need to have a passive relationship with voting, which if they watched my video about that, they would know that that's one of the things that I say in it, but they didn't. So how would they fucking know? So they make these out of context arguments and I, and I call them, I, again, it's just like, look, if you're gonna make these out of context arguments where you're not staying to what I'm actually talking about and then you circumvent it and you go way over there to make a different point and try to loosely connect it with what I'm saying, it's just like, well, you didn't talk about race. It's because I'm not talking about race and voting right now. I'm talking about any blue will do. Well, you didn't talk about this. Okay, but I'm talking about like money and politics right now. So, you know, it's like, let's, let's stay on task when you don't have anything to say about the subject that I have to actually say about. You, you just kind of divert, deflect, and then resort to name calling and pretend that you're holier than thou. And that's part of the reason why, you know, I stopped calling myself a liberal five, six years ago. I'm not really a conservative. I, progressive, I, yeah, I guess, you know, like, I, but really, like, I'm probably a socialist. Like, that's, that's pretty much what I line up with. I support the people. I support the labor movement. I'm I'm pro unions. Uh, Eugene Debs is probably the person that has the closest political leanings to me. <laughs> like, so, you know, but but they but they can't deal with something like that. They they every time I say some stuff like that, and you know, it's just like people will come back and be like, "Well, you don't fucking understand." I'm not here. My identity as a brown Indian immigrant is not here to validate your political identity. People have roped themselves up into making the political party their identity so much that they take it out on people that kind of push back on the party because the party has become the identity. And corporations have done this too, is, you know, they in West Virginia and stuff like that. It, yeah, and it's. That I mean, that vitriolic hypocrisy is what kind of comes out. What is up, everybody? Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button. Please share it around with a friend or an enemy or whoever you think would enjoy uh, a video like this. Uh, to share it out, uh, YouTube and Facebook usually suppress content like this. They don't usually show content like this to, to a lot of people. So I very much depend on you guys, the viewers and the fans of this show to get the word out. Uh, and make sure that you're subscribed. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon to make sure you're getting notifications about this video. Uh, I have a bunch of different ways that you can financially support this show. One is by just making a one-time donation. You can just make a one-time donation, say, hey, that was a fucking great video and I wanna support it financially. Here's X amount of whatevers. Uh, another way is by becoming a sustaining member. Sustaining membership gets you free tickets to shows, uh, unreleased stand-up comedy content and storytelling content and early access to a full uh, holistic episodes of Fork Full of Noodles uh, that you get weeks in advance. Weeks in advance, you guys. Uh, and another way to help is by coming to a live show. I've got a bunch of live stand-up comedy performances coming up. Uh, I'm going to be doing the Fringe Festival in Providence, Rhode Island, the, Pro uh, the Fringe PVD. All of these are virtual festivals, by the way. Uh, July 30th and 31st at 6 p.m. If you want to be part of the virtual live audience, let me know. Send me a message, leave a comment, uh, email me, uh, and I'll send you the donation link, and I'll make sure that you're on the list to be a part of the live virtual audience. It's July 30th and 31st at 6 p.m. And then we're on to doing more of the Citizen Revolution live virtual stand-up comedy shows. Each week, brand new content, brand new material, and a brand new subject matter, and I donate half the ticket sales to a grassroots organization. Uh, the next one is August 7th and then on August 14th and August 28th, and then we'll be moving right into the fall. So keep up with these dates. You can go to my website, krishmohanhaha.com. That's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A.com. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for uh, continuing to come back to support this channel. Until the next one, we'll see you on the road. Thank you.